Hey guys, we are Swift Tech, a group from Technology and Information Systems, Section 4. We have Gedi here, me, Nicholas, Zheng Yu, Zhen Li, and Chuan Kai, and of course, our most handsome guy, Amar. We are going to visit UTM Digital. We have around 60 students, led by our lecturer, Dr. Muhammad Iqbar, for today's visit. Now, let's go and follow our footage. Today, we will visit three places. The first place is the office of UTM Digital staff. The office is clean and comfortable. The office has provided two platforms, Mac OS and Windows for staff to finish various tasks. Besides, a huge meeting room is also provided for daily updates and brainstorming. In order to increase staff efficiency, an office pantry and snooker table is provided for staff to release their stress. Large area of window use helps a lot in reducing the boringness of an office. Within that, the office is well designed to inspire work efficiency of UTM Digital staff. The second place we visit is UTM Digital Care. UTM Digital Care is the one-stop center for ICT services. They claim that they are using voice over internet protocol VOIP technology to be always ready for any internet inquiry. UTM Digital Care also helps in event management. For example, recently there was an university event held in VSI and the UTM Digital Care technical team gave technical support to it. Moreover, UTM Digital Care also has good cooperation with the industry's companies such as Examedia, Trend Micro, Ruckus, Aruba, Juniper Networks, and Telecom Malaysia. Telecom Malaysia had provided a multi-purpose room which was equipped with two smart TVs and a Huawei Idea Hub which would give an advanced conference experience. The third place we visit was the data center and it will be explained by our Mr. Amar. So right before this we just visited the data center but since we cannot fill that I'll just talk about it briefly. Uh, the UTM data center has more than 400 uh, servers and we, we could uh, see some of them from the crisis room. The UTM servers are ISO created. That means that uh, they have two numbers of power supply, two UBS systems, and two generators. They are also tier 3 servers, which means that uh, they have 99.2982 uh, availability with many, others, uh, with many other features. They are certified by the American National Institute, National Institute uh, of Certification and also we, we could see that the conditioners in the server room were from below uh, to distribute the hot air above and to prevent leakages. Thank you. There is an interview session during the VG. Uh, they talked a lot of their stuff in the uh, GDP universe. Uh, so actually, we have another campus there. We have uh, we only, only, uh, only also have a campus there. Actually, by right now, yeah. please, if you want to know this, this is sufficient for the platform. But the enemy, yes, we are already sufficient. We already covered all the enemy. But the one that uh, the development, we have been thinking about the development stuff. We, we really, actually, we really like to have a very uh, small, a uh, bit more about the development system because we can cover our, uh, a lot of systems that we have so much. And we are actually, we are very, very, uh, lucky if you can come to, if you have any internet uh, or any sufficient uh, We really like to be uh, able to do development. There will be some questions about the does UTM Digital Customer Service provide 34 hours a day or is it restricted to regular office hours? Yes, we have a schedule. We are restricted to the schedule of our uh, office hours. But actually, we are not using the regular office hours. So actually, when we are not in the working schedule, we can actually make an answer. If we try to provide, we try to solve issues, but issues, maybe even though it's our office hours, it's not in the office hours. In our virtual session in UTM Digital, we explore the three key divisions Architectural Digital, Digital Strategic, and Digital Innovation. 
each contributing to the university digital landscape. The first section is UTM Digital Services, explained by Ms. Aslinda. UTM Digital had provided services include UTM ID, academic tools, official emails, portals, and licensed software with guidance on Microsoft 365 and network policies. The second section is UTM Digital Infrastructure, explained by TS Mr. Muhammad. The data center initiated in 2017 is Pivotal. It had earned a certificate of conformance. Besides, there are many insights on operations and benefits shared during the talk, such as how data centers operate. The third section is UTM networking, explained by Mr. Mahat Mat Hamri and TS Mr. Cairo Nizam. There are many details of core switch connections, network devices, UTM Wi-Fi coverage, and efficient issue resolution were presented. The fraud section is ICT security management, explained by Mr. Noor Haslan. During the talk, Robust Security Measures and a Powerful Security Operations Center SOC, were highlighted to safeguard data and personal information. Project Management and System Development From Mr. Helmi, we have gained insights on effective project handling, clear communication, and tools like GitLab and PHP. In summary, UTM Digital endures a security efficient and innovative digital environment, enhancing the university experience for all. In conclusion, the activities have given us a huge benefit to the students because the visit expands our insight and gives us a general view of the future path. By visiting the data center, we are able to view the structure of the database system directly through our eyes instead of virtual video and pictures. We had learned how to interview people and deliver a high quality video and also we had learned to use click cam and snap cut to edit video. The activities has sparked the excitement between us about our future. We hope that we are able to work in a comfortable environment like UTM Digital. Before this visit, our knowledge was restricted to the theory. However, during this visit, we are able to observe how the technology is implemented in the real world. For example, we had known that the air conditioner in the data center is on floor and independent of the air conditioner system outside to prevent water leaking and effect from the outside. 